am tired and my shoulder hurts like a mofo. But you know what? I gotta sit down and rant about this because if I don't do it today, then I'm gonna put it off for like a month. Because I am the biggest fucking procrastinator in this entire world. So, what I want to do today is issue a little apology to our friends in the UK, Great Britain. I am so sorry that MTV keeps taking your shows and turning it into shitfests on so many occasions. I mean, we did okay with The Office, but that wasn't MTV. That's the thing. But when we take your show Skins and make it as terrible as the U.S. version was, uh, I can see why some people say fuck America, because they're taking Inbetweeners now, which is one of my favorite shows. I fucking love the Inbetweeners. Ow. Fuck. Shit. Cock. Bitch. I'm sorry. Uh, if you hear random bouts of cursing, that's because my shoulder is moving and I need to stop moving it because it hurts so bad. But anyway, so the in-betweeners for Americans or those who just don't have Netflix, um, it's a fucking hilarious show about four English guys who um, try and fail to get laid, score drugs, get girls. It's hilarious, but it's so cleverly written in the, uh, in the, uh, English version. It's so well written, and they just, they get the right actors, they just get everything right, and it works out as a show. But in America, it just doesn't make sense. It's so much funnier with, because, the reason I like it is because it just looks like the guys at school. I'm sorry about my hair. I'm just going to keep fixing it like this. I'm just going to hold my hand like this for the rest of the video. But anyway, it works well as a show in Great Britain. But MTV should have took it as a lesson when they butchered skins that they should not be taking shows from other countries trying to Americanize it because it failed miserably. When the fuck is MTV, I'm sorry about all the cursing, but when the fuck is MTV gonna learn that they suck now and they need to go back to music videos, people need to start making good fucking music again so we can just go back to all music videos all the time, we can get good fucking DJs, we can even bring back the Who Wants to Be a DJ contest and get a guy like Jesse Camp again. So we can stop stealing stuff from other countries. And now I, I mean, now I said I can see why some countries are like, fuck America. But I don't think it's really necessary to say, fuck America. I mean, I know we've given you a lot of good stuff. I mean, you guys, the UK, you've given us the Beatles, Stones, Kinks, all the good stuff. And... The Who, you've given me my guitar god, Pete Townsend, and we've given you, like, Van Halen and all that good stuff, so you can't really say, fuck America, because we've given, we've kind of shared with you guys, and you've shared with us, so let's just go back to those good old days, instead of stealing your ideas and trying to make it shitty American versions. Because I saw the trailer for the American Inbetweeners. Dear fucking God, it looks terrible. I mean, Jay, uh, let's start with Jay. Jay is being played by a fat kid, and he makes fun of fat kids in the UK version. But let's think about it. I mean... He doesn't even seem like... Jay's obsessed with sex. That's the character. Jay is obsessed with sex. But he's likable. He's at least likable. And the guy that I saw in the trailer just seems like an annoying fat slob. And Neil... They made Neil hot. What the fuck? Neil is supposed to be nerdy and slow. And they're trying to make Will into this cute little hipster... Like, a cute little nerd that girls are just going to be like, 
oh my god, he's so hot just because he's so nerdy, and they're gonna frop at the mouth, and maybe even the gash, I don't know, like Jay put it in the UK version, I'm sorry, I love, I fucking love the in-betweeners, oh my god, I love it so much, if you have Netflix, I really recommend you go watch it, they have season one and two, and if you want to watch season three, it's on YouTube, that's what I've been doing, and um, yeah, just fuck off, MTV. You suck. Get over it. You're not going to save your station in any way. And I know when DirecTV took away MTV, all my friends were so concerned. I was only pissed because they took away VH1 Classic. I need my dose of classic rock, people. You don't know me when I don't have any classic rock. I go fucking insane. So anyway, just... MTV, fuck off, get your own ideas, and stop stealing from good writers from a different country, and yeah, six minutes, have a nice day.